Uh, the Twin Cities topped 40 degrees today, and if we do it again tomorrow, we are officially in a January thaw. Uh, weather experts define that as two days in a row above freezing. So how common are January thaws? Good question. Heather Brown found out in a special visit to New Brighton. Over the course of a half hour, this place is packed. I, I'm in it. I couldn't believe it. Slinky the snow snail had close to 200 fans. We came out early because I was kind of afraid with the, melt, yeah. the sculpture. And another chance at a record on Saturday. The back might melt a little bit. Most likely the antennas up there will fall off. We're going to have to re bring out the rock climbing gear and we'll keep touching it up so it looks good for people that come and check it out. That's just kind of what we sign up for. That's because we get a January thaw in about 90% of our winters. So by Saturday, we should see all the green grass or brown grass. Some grass, yes. <laughs> Pete Boulay is an assistant state climatologist. Do these thaws usually last two, three, four days? They can. They can last up to a week. Yes! In a warm January 2017, it went 11 days. Oh, I love it. I can't stand the cold. My fingers don't like the cold. I don't like it because it takes it takes our uh, ice rink away. Well, you don't have to wait till the spring to start biking lessons. No. no. If it seems a little soon. It's a little bit earlier than we're used to. It is. It can happen any time during the month, but it seems to cluster around that third week in January. Over the past 10 years, we've averaged two thaws each January. As many as four, as few as zero. That hasn't changed much over the past 50 years, but in general, Januarys are getting warmer. We're losing our below zeros. We haven't as many of those. We, we're not getting as cold at night. It's the main is the main difference. So you don't mind the no, not at all bitter cold. No. Easy for him to say he's going back to college in a few days. I just wanted to get like 15 to 20 inches of snow. So if you can talk to your weatherman, <laughs> Heather Brown, we're on it. WCCO 4 News. Yeah, she uh, talked to me. Did she? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about Slinky. I know. Oh. Yeah, they're going to have to do some uh, some TLC on Slinky. Listen, I'm surprised they found enough snow to build Slinky. That's a good point, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah because uh, we just don't have much on the ground mm -hmm. here in the cities. And uh, looking back at 40s, uh, really, as Tom Jones would sing, it's not unusual. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah.